Today, you're gonna to learn how to create presentation mockups with Artboard Studio. Oh, and hey, I'd like to point out this video's awesome sponsor, Skillshare.com, which offers thousands of classes in design, coding, business, and more. For instance, you're about to watch my tutorial on mockups, but you could watch this full mockups course at Skillshare. Now, Skillshare is just 10 bucks a month, but if you're the first 200 students to use my very exclusive link below in the description here in YouTube, then you get the first two months free. All right, so let's get started. Hey everyone, Gary Simon of Corsetro. So today we're gonna step back into artboard.studio, which is the actual website address. And this is a tool that allows you to very quickly and easily create really customizable presentation mockups for identity design projects or UI design projects, what have you. So I'm just gonna show you how to create this right here and it's very, very fun and easy to use. Um, so for today's question, which tool do you use to create presentation mockups for clients? Now I know in the past I used Photoshop for this pretty much exclusively, but I know there are other tools out there such as this one. So let me know in the comments, make sure you subscribe and let's get started. All right, so if you'll recall earlier in the week, uh, we did this uh, kind of like this landing page, this illustrative landing page design in Adobe XD. Now something I did on my own is to create a mobile version uh, with an iPhone X version right here, kind of just using the same aesthetics. And this is what we're gonna use for the basis of this um, this, this mock-up presentation of sorts using Artboard Studio. So I've taken this and I've just exported it. Um, which uh, if I come over here, you know, so you go to export and then selected, and then you just choose web and selected assets will be exported at one X and two X size to two X size is what you want to use, obviously. Um, so once you have this, this design exported from whichever app you're using, mine happens to be uh, uh, Adobe XD or experience design. Uh, we can go ahead into artboards dot studio once you log in create an account or whatever i'm not sure if they've opened that up yet i should probably check that um actually well screw that i'm just going to click create new project and as we can see the ton of templates here that we can just choose from a lot of packaging based uh, uh presentation mock-up templates that you can use and you can search through these real quickly as well um so for us I'm just gonna type in iPhone and we could choose from a ton of different templates right here. One that perhaps will suit your needs um, as close as possible and then you can go in and drastically modify them. That's what we're gonna use. I'm gonna choose this one right here, iPhone XS Max Mockup Scene. All right, so it takes a little time to load all the assets in here because everything is quite dynamic and we're gonna take this one right here and I'm going to hit place your design and it opens up kind of a new document right here. Um, very similar to Photoshop, like a smart object layer if you're familiar with Photoshop. Um, and then this is where we place the actual um, design that I exported from Adobe XD. So let me do that real quick. So I have this, uh, I'm just gonna drag this from my desktop from my other monitor. That's where I s exported it to, um, right here. It's very simple. Uh, so now we can actually go back and there we go. Just like a smart object later in Photoshop, it has it ready to go. Now what's really cool, it doesn't just end there. You, you're not just stuck with this scene. You can do anything almost anything that you want. Um, for instance, when you select a particular object here, you'll see here in the layers, they all have their own settings, um, like the position, um, you can move them around, uh, you can rotate them even, uh, you can change the opacity, uh, and you can also change the blend mode. So of the different layers that are a part of it, so the main image blend mode, you could change to overlay or whatever. Um, I, you don't really see that um, present on here as opposed to like main label, main image right here, if we change to overlay. Although I thought that would work. Let's change this real quickly to uh, normal and then just use, there we go. It's actually affecting the background right here, the main image of the phone itself. Uh, the label is actually the um, mock-up that you place. But as you can see, there's a lot you can change. You can even delete them from the scene entirely. And I think that's what I'm going to do. 
we're just going to have one of these iPhones. There's a bunch of them all laying around. All right, like that. And then the background, let's make the background match the colors that are associated with the app, the brand here. So to do that, we just click on nothing and we by default get um, set to the canvas settings portion where we see there's a background and you can choose gradient. That's what I'm going to do. And I already have this in or set in by default uh, from when I prepared this project. So the colors that I wanted to use are right here. You can adjust the hue over here and the lightness and darkness and all that good stuff. So I kind of like this right here, right off the bat. All right, I think we'll position this right around here. And then what else can you do? So we can see all these other icons on this left toolbar. Um, we can add stock photos, textures, and items. So the items is really cool. You can search for a specific item that you want to be placed into this scene right here or choose from these categories below. Um, so for instance, uh, let's go to drinks. All right, so these are all different drinks. You can see we have a front view and also a top view depending on the orientation that's specified from this, this mock-up here. This is obviously the way this is set up, a top view. You're looking down onto a phone here. So these are all kind of just top view or, 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 or items and assets that would work in this perspective. So sorry, my internet went out there for like an hour, but coming, coming back to where I was, uh, let's take this fizzy drink, which is, looks more like alcohol to me. I'll put it over there, alcohol and I. Uh, um, guitars and rock and roll and stuff goes together. Um, and so what's really cool is you can see that the shadows, are, you know, they, they, they're, they're dyna dynamic, they work well. Um, I'm gonna increase the scale of this. I'm gonna, usually you hold shift to make sure, okay, that did actually work that time. Usually I was finding I had to hold alt, but never mind, this works as expected. So I just wanted to make it larger by holding shift and scaling it up. Um, we'll make it uh, a little bit bigger than that even. There we go like that, I think right there works pretty well, just so it's kind of going over the edge for a little bit more believability. Um, and then also let's uh, let's add a, um, like an overlaid watermark background to this. You can do that as well. So if we um, go to add stock photos, these are all stock photos that you know, you're free to use in your projects, um, commercial or otherwise. And if I just type guitar, hit enter, we'll see we have uh, a bunch of different really you know, um, really nice photographs of guitars. I think I like this one. So I'm gonna take it, hold shift, scale it up. And then we're going to right click in object stack. We'll choose send to back. And then we can choose um, over here. I'm, I'm probably on top of it, unfortunately. The layer FX version, uh, or drop down rather. Um, we can just go through these. I think I like lighten. And then just take the opacity down a little bit. Just something very subtle like that. It looks great in my opinion. Um, and then we can even add text to this as well. So for instance, I, if we wanted to add, let's say maybe this is some sort of promo, we can go to insert text and they give you some just, <clears throat> um, so just some options here if you wanna have it stylized with some borders and stuff. I just wanna choose add simple text. So we can go ahead and make this white. Um, I'll choose Montserrat. All right, and then we'll go ahead and left align it. Um, let's make it, uh, let's change the text here. Our newest app. All right, let's make the font weight here pretty bold. So eh, 700 or so. Increase the size. All right, and then take down the line height. All right, I like that right around there, maybe a little bit smaller. And then Control D to duplicate that. We'll create a sub headline real quickly. Let's do the size, uh, we'll take down the size. Let's change the text up real quick. Download our new free app now, excuse me. And then uh, we'll go ahead and let's see here. We'll, we'll take the, the font weight down a little bit. And then we'll take both of these and we'll rotate them. Maybe along the kind of the, the edge of this phone. And look at that. 
that looks really good in my opinion. You can even change um, the ground shadow, the shadow right here that's coming off this. If you want to increase that or more um, like that, you can if you want. So everything is really highly customizable here. It's uh, pretty impressive. All right, so hopefully you found that useful. Make sure you answer today's question, which is which tool do you use to create presentation mockups for clients? All right, if you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you real soon.